Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we took care of an alien abduction mission in uh, Australia. We also got um, the Xenobiology Xenobiolo um, researched, and we are now researching the Arc Thrower next, a stunning device to capture an alien alive. Um, in the meantime, we also came across a kind of bomb disposal type mission. The, con the council wants us to take care of these bombs the aliens placed. We're supposed to go there, disable the bombs, and deal with any um, a aliens on the way. We are supposed to reduce the panic in this area and the rewards are very good. This is taking place in Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria. We, uh, with that alien ad abduction type mission, um, we since we did that in Australia, panic across Africa and Northern America has um, increased, meaning Nigeria, this panic reduction will actually take place. It's not a waste. We're going to launch this mission right now. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. I think you do. I think you are going to look forward to that. Um, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. I like it. Um, we're not going to take this heavy. We are not going to take this heavy. We're going to clear that unit and put Zara Fogel on the line again. Yep, you've got the typical rookie type uniform. Actually, you don't have the typical rookie type uniform. Let me customize that loadout. What kind of typical uniform would a rookie have? Like something that screams, Hey, I'm a rookie! Shoot me! Do we have something like that? Oh, God, that's bad! There's so many! Nope, that was it. Never mind, just 32. Okay, the one with a... <laughs> okay, I'm a rookie! Shoot me! Shoot me! Yep, that is what it says, right there. Um, apart, uh, and on account of the loadout, what will I give you? Could give her the vest. No, I think we just took out, we just took out the, um, my heavy, meaning I, the only explosive I'm gonna be ha able to throw is with Vogel. I'm gonna do exactly that. I think that's as good as a team as I'm gonna get right now. You're a princess, a princess of the land. You know that, right? Touching down. Ah, oh, this is gonna be bad. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. That's it. Okay. Operation Lost Shield. Who makes that name? Mission objectives. Deactivate the bomb before it goes off. Delay the detonation countdown by deactivating the bomb's power sources. Prevent reactivation by eliminating all remaining opposition. If the frames don't drop during the introduction screen, the mission goes badly. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. I hate plasma bombs. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Hate it when that happens. Our indicate that device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. New objective received. So, turns until bomb is fully charged. Oh, that's just three. That's good. Okay, no enemy. Good. Uh, I'll disarm this bad boy, and then we'll see what I do with... You bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry. You're... Well, you know. <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm gonna dash my sniper in this very good location over here. Although this could end badly. No, we didn't pop anybody. Good. Good, good. 
let's actually take a look. This mission is just this bridge, so it's just gonna be a straight moving forward type dealio. We wanna be a little spread out over over uh, across this thing. So if we encounter a pod, they're not able to take good cover. For, uh, if uh, they, uh, They're only gonna be able to take cover in, behind, and if they go to the left, they're gonna be easily flanked by moi. So I have to be able to do it kind of like that. And we also want to get all these power nodes. Uh, beautiful princess, I think you might want to dash ahead or not. I really don't think you should do this, but I'm going to do this anyways. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. So I selected you. Can you still deactivate that node? No, you cannot. Okay, you are available. You, you have half cover. You have half cover. You have full cover. And you don't have cover. We just encountered our first Thin Man. And they are gonna attack in a second. Should have overwatched with Vogel, that was a mistake. Should have put her in an overwatchable position. That's the overwatch. Shot failed to connect. Damn ass! You're gonna have to move out of there! Not only is my guy now poisoned. Okay, first things first. You do this. Deactivate that damn ass. If I that'll buy us a little more time, but you still need to find that bomb. Uh you've got full cover. No, you you've got half cover there, but uh, where could I run that I have a flanking position. Am I gonna get that kill in this turn? Do I bank everything on that? Bad idea. Bad idea. But I think moving you up is not a bad idea. How much of a percentage do you have? 70% from there. That's actually really good. Really? Really now? That's how you're gonna play it. Fine. You know why we have a sniper? You don't. Well, we're gonna find out. Because I have to move out of that poison anyways. I'm gonna switch my guns because you can only shoot with your pistol after you've moved. That is 50% chance to hit. Well, okay. Was only pistol fire. Negative damage. I don't think so. That is my rookie. Can move you here. I would like to get that hit. I really would. 45% up to 4 damage. Yeah, you tricked me. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna be bad. That's a dash. I don't want a dash. I really don't. I could dash here, that's a 100% chance to get that kill, but it's also a high chance to um, just pop out a new um, enemy. Not great. I could move him here, could pop a new pod, but all my people are in cover, so that's not the problem. If I move him here and shoot over with a pistol and miss, I'm in deep shit. I'm in deep shit. But we do have healers, and I think that's actually feasible. Is that about I have missed two shots now, uh, missing a third one would be a kick in the butt, and I, I don't think that's good. I, I hate kicks in the butt. And we also have to disarm these, we are on the timer here. I'll switch. I'm, I'm not called strike one. 70% chance, come on dude. You have not hit a single one of those shots, but that's okay. Thin men have plasma rifles. You're still poisoned, I know that. But plasma rifles are something to talk about here because plasma rifles are juicy. 
Enemy in sight is what she said. Heard that. You don't have an enemy in sight though, sniper guy. Man, I would so like my, my sniper to be in a good position here. I wonder what that arrow down means. I don't know. That probably means they're still poisoned somehow. Sutherland, you could heal up your friend there. I hate him being poisoned, honestly. This poison area of effect, I, I don't know if it is connected to this space as well. But if I move there, that sectoid is going to be flanked. That would be a nice position for you to be in. Flanking enemy, taking him off or taking him down right then and there would be beautiful, okay? Oh, we're ahead. We're ahead. Nice. Don't give me these frame drops. There is actually no melt canisters in this mission. Interesting. We disarmed that bad boy and... That's another one down. I don't think I want to continue advancing here. There are so many more power nodes in this area. Like, I can see four right on the screen and they're all activated. We have time. You can overwatch here. Not with a pistol. Hey, hey, dude, dude. Switch, you switch weapons. Good to go. Fuck! Fuck! Why? Why did you reload? Well, turned out to not be that big of a problem, but that sucked. Man, Sniper, you have to learn how to run. You're a great character and all, but but you're, you've got to buy new boots. There's no way about that. Like some Strega Mark IIs or something from Trails in the Sky, and you can run all over the damn screen. This is not working out for you. Okay, everything clear. Vogel, my favorite rookie. Come on, you run ahead. Enemy troopers. He has full cover. Boy, am I glad. We have full cover situations as well. Okay. We've got enough turns here and there's enough things to, you know, um, deactivate in this area. So, let's go on the overwatches. Overwatches. And, yeah. You're gonna move ahead. You get shot at. Come on. First overwatch hit in this let's play. Good. That's why we do it. That's why we do it. I've got this pretty cool keyboard and when I just got that kill my keyboard was flashing red I don't know if I like it that's pretty cool like the LEDs on my keyboard were flashing red zero energy do you want to sound cool here or I, I don't know what's going on with you but Again, Looks enemy like inside. Get over there and deactivate it. We have a new objective. Yeah, we do, but but oh. let me just deactivate this bad boy here first. You That's are in half cover. cover. I don't want to really. I I really don't want to just go out there. Oh, I could just move up on this truck, but there's no cover. That's cover, but you don't have that great sight. Yet. Okay, I'll... That's dashing, man. I don't know where... Oh, shit, you're almost dead. Sir, you're gonna need a little bit of health. You're gonna need a little bit of health from your friend, the medic. Medic is our pink princess over there. He knows what to do. Uh, are you in healing wound territory? Yeah. Come on, time to cowboy up. Cowboy up. Well, we are in positions where they could feasibly flank us. 
and shotgun overwatch is not ideal here. I could sprint up front here. And that is the last alien in this mission, I'm pretty confident. I could sprint right here, have full cover, have him overwatch with the shotgun and then the if the sectoid moves, but sectoid is not gonna move much. We might still get that. Pistol overwatch is not worth, I, I'm thinking run a gun. Get behind this full cover. And overwatch with the shotgun activated. And let's see what kind of aim you get. 40% not worth. Hey, hey. You know what I just said? You heard it? I don't know. I really don't know if you did. Um, you've got a shot. I didn't know. Well. What did you say? What did you just call me, Zara? I hope it wasn't offensive. Um, you can move in for a year. That's not happening. Sarah, my favorite rookie nowadays. Everybody's my favorite. Anyways, um, we want to get a shot over there. This truck is going to be in the way, so I have to put her behind this car somehow. And with direct line of sight. I think from this location you should have direct line of sight. Yep. And shoot. Still 45%. That's fine, though. Oh, kill cam! Was that the last one? Uh, we don't know. We have to deactivate that bad boy, though. So, Suzuki. I'm on the move. You're on the move. You disarm that. And... Power Power down. There's the egg... There, There's the end. I'm not gonna sprint you there yet. You can sit there, overwatch. Everybody else can just move up front. This is my sniper. I think he can move farther now. Ah, it's the injury, huh? That would make sense. Would make sense. Yep, you pistol overwatch here. And Sutherland, I'll dash you up front. Just in case. I don't know what could happen here. Nope. Suzuki, uh, you don't have run and gun. Aye, aye, Commander. Doesn't seem like there's anybody remaining alive. Alright, we're moving in on that. Four turns remaining. We don't need to, like, deactivate any more nodes here. I'll put them on their occasional overwatch. Everybody's gonna be happy. You switch guns. And overwatch with... Nope, overwatch. And now we're able to defuse the bomb with this character. Got it. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Huh? Strike one. You've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Uh oh. Objectives updated. What do you mean a wave of x-rays? Probably not from this location, honestly. Or are they gonna... Where's the end? That's the end of the screen. There's no cover there. They're probably gonna come from this side. We don't know. We don't know where they're gonna come from. We are in... I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it deep shit. We'll just put up overwatches. They're not gonna immediately shoot after emerging, I hope. Uh, you could overwatch here, you could reload. I'm not gonna need more than one shot from you, though. You've got a full shotgun, you haven't done too much. Uh, with you, you will- you are not gonna hit an overwatch. One. Two. One. Yeah, yeah, well, that worked out. You had overwatched, didn't you? 
Do you have Overwatch? How do I see? I don't. You're the only guy who has vision. No, you have vision. What kind of aim percent? Oh, he's out of cover. Beautiful. That's going to be a rookie level up right there. Awesome. Great work. You're a heavy now? Why? Because you equipped a frag grenade? I didn't want you as a heavy man. Okay. You are a Corporal Sutherland, Pink Queen of Goodness. I really enjoy this outfit. Okay, you get Covering Fire, allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. And we get Sprinter, allows the soldier to move three additional tiles. Um, this is an absolute passive, and a large movement range is something I really enjoy. I'm sorry, I'm going to take the Sprinter. This covering fire is interesting as well, but you are the support and you are going to have to heal up your friends one, every once in a while and large movement range is a very good thing for that purpose. Oh, I don't want to reconsider it. We don't have much of a choice here, okay? I'm going to take that. Uh, my assault. You get either tactical sense, confers plus five defense per enemy in sight. Okay. Or you get aggression, confers plus 10% critical chance per enemy in sight, max 30%. Um, I don't think the crit chance is going to be that good. This is very offensive. So if you have a lot of enemies in sight, you, you generally, you've got bigger fish to fry than crit chance, okay? You're gonna need to hope, and hope is good if you have very high defense. I think tactical sense might be better in this case. Um, if I really want to kill an enemy, I can. I, I'll just team up on him. This skill is gonna be a very nice at some point. It only procs up to 30%, so if you run close to an enemy, you get 100% chance to hit. And if there is at that point three enemies inside, you have 70% base crit chance plus these 30, so that's 100% chance for a crit. That is nice. That's something to bank on, and I like that. I do. But sometimes defense is more valuable than offense. Recruit Vogel. Yep. Yeah. You are now officially a heavy. And, okay, fine, sniper. You get snapshot. Removes the sniper's, uh, sniper rifle's restriction on firing an overwatch after moving. Any shots taken suffer a minus 10 aim penalty. That's nice. Or, you get squad sight. Allows firing at targets in any ally sight radius. But these targets cannot be critically hit unless using headshot. This is really good, because I don't have to move my sniper so much. This makes the sniper a lot better. You saw the problems last time. Sniper just moving. Oh, I've got to catch up to my squad. Got to catch up to my squad. Got to catch up to my squad. That's what the sniper does. This eliminates that. And this eliminates that. But the squad side also lets him be in a more defensive position. You can just put him back in a in a type of situation where he has higher ground. He's gonna be well defended and offensively capable, like he's gonna be capable to kill any enemy he wants. With this you can, you are gonna have him be pretty, a pretty aggressive unit. You get the aim penalty which sucks and um, you're always going to be taking shots with him because you're always looking for that beautiful full cover. But with this, you're going to just have that full cover. I really like squad side, you know? Of course, he is wounded 11 days. He likes doing that. I think he got wounded three missions in a row. 
I don't know though. I don't know. We got the Thin Man Autopsy and Thin Man Corpse. And we get Weapon Fragments. Panic Reduction and the credits are nice. Be in touch, Commander. Let's look at the situation though. Um, situation in Brazil is not great. Situation in South Africa not great. United States and United Kingdom. But everybody else, I, I mean, they're moderately happy. Moderately. Nigeria is perfectly happy right now because we just did that mission. I think we're, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. For the workshop. One, two. I only saw two engineers. Okay, finally we are able... Always glad to have more help down here. We now are able to build another satellite uplink. I'm gonna do that right now. Begin construction. Begin construction. Takes a lot of money, 14 days. But when those days are gone, like when that's done, we're gonna be we're we're gonna be in a very good position. We're gonna be in a very good position because we can at that point launch three more satellites. And we have one, and we're building another one, and um, the other one is probably going to come in sooner or later as well. So that's what we did there. Research is going on for the Arc Thrower. It takes another 10 days. That's okay. Um, apart from that, I don't know. Let's head to Mission Control and continue to scan for activity. Excavation complete. Incoming transmission. It's money time. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. All right, we get additional money per month and additional scientists and engineers. <clears throat> this is what we did in March 2015 people are not that happy we get the all in bonus already we're gonna get we're gonna get this satellite online and get this instant interrogation and um, dissection of of um, aliens that's why I have not been doing the the um, well the the we still have to look at the, the um, corpses and stuff I think I mean we did you know biolo biology but that wasn't exactly by my own free choice that's okay we already get plus one scientists here and we're gonna get more here get plus one engineers in Africa because that's where we started out that's okay carry on Remember, we will be watching. Yeah, yeah you're creepy like that how much money did I gain I not that much the new okay. engineers arrived this morning commander why plural? I don't I don't understand. Why plural? I gained one engineer. Ah, I understand the money situation. While we get money from the council, all those facilities that have maintains um, took money away. So that's why we only have 325 credits there. I think we're going to build another satellite right now. Wasn't that more expensive last time? Not enough uplink capacity, I know. I know. Not yet, anyways. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Good. Good. We have six scientists now. This, w these, this one scientist made the research speed go up too fast. Was that really? No, that wasn't worth 10 days. We waited like f four days already. That's nice. Scan for new activity. It's gonna, it's gonna come in in a second. Alien containment facility online. That's nice. Assign new construction? No. Not necessary. 
There's nothing happening. Odd. Arc throwers researched. Okay. <clears throat> arc thrower available for manufacture. We've completed our research into the arc thrower prototype and we believe this device is ready for final production and engineering. The mechanism's fu functions on the base, a basic premise of neu neurological disruption, emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse capable of confusing and incapacitating targets within a limited range. As this is our first venture into the field of non-lethal weapons based on the alien's phys physiology, physiology, it's safe to assume there may be unexpected results in the field. It's very likely that some aliens will resist the disabling effects of the weapon, in which case it might be more effective to weaken the enemy first. The arc thrower is also constrained constrained by our current power supply technology, which limits its effectiveness to two shots per deployment. Any captives retrieved from the field will have to be housed in an alien containment facility. I strongly advise we build that facility before attempting to capture live specimens. Top secret. Cool. Arc thrower available. The arc thrower is a non-lethal sidearm designed to stun hostile targets. The mechanism seems to be most effective against weakened enemies. Use, build, buy, items, blah. Okay, what's next? Uh, sectoid? No, not yet. Carapace armor or beam weapons or meld. Experimental warfare. This takes seven days. Twenty days. Not happening. Ah, oh, that would be so juicy. So juicy. Not yet. Not ready yet. I don't know what to do with meld. These are going to be free. Armor is more important than weapons, isn't it? But thing is, weapons are also, they, they have an aim bonus, so you get more hit percentage. But 20 days is not something I can do right now. Let's try and do meld. We're gonna get more scientists, no prob. Hey, 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 Eric, don't do the stupid thing. Do the smart thing. And we're gonna build one arc thrower. One arc thrower immediate, nice. We're gonna take that with us as well. I'd like some boots though, I'd really like some boots that increase my movement range. I probably have played too many RPGs, haven't I? Okay, that was a surprise. Command. View abduction we have sites. Multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Egypt is not gonna be happy if I dismiss them. Same goes for Mexico. We get a sergeant for this mission. Sergeant is actually a pretty high rank right now. We don't have a sergeant at this point. It's nice. But China does not need the panic reduction. So it's the choice between engineers and scientists. And I'm thinking scientists, that's a little more important right now. This is North America. North America is not doing so hot. Egypt is um, Africa. South Africa is not doing so hot. That, that increase by one is going to put it to four. And this increase is also going to put Egypt to four. So we're going to have problems in our home country or in, our, um, in Africa. But I'm thinking Mexico is a little more important right now, so I'm gonna go here. Not right now, though. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!